My name is Darby Hopper and I'm a hammocking advocate. It's a beautiful day and I have a lot of reading to do, so one of the best places for me to read um, is out on the lake though, like in the sun with the like waves right there. It's a really good environment and it's where I like to study the most. Today I'm going to show you how to find a tree where you can set up your hammock, how to set it up, and even how to get into it. First thing you need when you're trying to set up a hammock is a tree, or more specifically two trees. Um, you got to find trees that are about 10 feet apart, not so wide that your straps won't fit around them, but not so thin that they would break if you put weight on them. Then it's pretty easy, you have to get out your straps, you put the blue threading um, on the inside and wrap that around the tree, pulling the side with many loops through the side with one loop. Then all you have to do is clip in your hammock, you just kind of put it on the loop that seems best. You want it to be um, you want your hammock to be pretty tightly stretched across because once you get in it, like, your weight's going to pull it down. So if you start it off kind of loose, then you'll end up with your butt on the ground. I think some of the major benefits of hammocking are that you get to be outside and kind of enjoying nature while still doing your work if you need to, especially at Northwestern where school goes until June and you have friends out in April or May. It can be kind of disheartening to look out and see the beautiful beach that we have. Um, and especially when students are in the library all day and they never see like the sunshine, it's just a little bit sad. Now that you've seen all the steps, I hope that you take the time to get out in hammock.